It's been a long road, but let's take a look at some of the biggest steps we've made. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 groundbreaking moments for LGBTQ plus characters on TV. Business. I have business. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at major moments of representation in the television industry for characters that identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or otherwise queer. That's funny. Yeah. No, I think I think what you're uh, sensing is a very very strong I like men vibe. Number 10, first openly transgender performer to receive an Emmy nomination, Orange is the New Black. Trans performers playing trans characters in media have unfortunately been few and far between. But when Orange is the New Black became an instant hit in 2013, Laverne Cox made a major breakthrough. If you want to skip that shower line, do the 5 a.m. or the 5 p.m. That's my secret. Her sympathetic and lovable portrayal of Sophia, a trans woman struggling to continue connecting with her family, earned her a well-deserved Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series. Since then, her career has taken off, and in addition to an array of fantastic performances, she continues to be a major trans advocate, helping to make huge leaps forward for the transgender community. At the end of the day, we have to highlight the humanity of trans people and lift up trans people's stories. It's been very frustrating. Number 9. A Gay Dad Shown Raising a Child – Soap Billy Crystal's Jodie Dallas was among the first gay characters on television, and one of the most prominent among them. When we were younger, there was no such thing as homosexuals. The character wasn't entirely well received by LGBTQ plus groups, generally due to the fact that his sexuality was mostly in the background and he considered a sex change, despite being gay and not transgender. Nevertheless, he fostered a child with Carol after a one-night stand, making him one of television's first gay fathers. Your daddy's little girl, hmm? Mm -hmm. Though initially Carol took custody of his daughter, Jody grows throughout this storyline, learning how to become a father and ultimately winning custody. Did you ever frequent a bar known as Barney's? Was that you? <laughs> Number 8. Various Same-Sex Teen Relationships – Glee In addition to providing some of the best musical moments on television in recent memory, Glee broke crucial ground in pop culture by portraying a wide variety of same-sex relationships in a positive and realistic way. The beloved Kurt went from battling hatred and homophobia to embracing his identity, eventually finding a loving partner in Blaine. We also witnessed the journey of Santana and Brittany, who initially had trouble coming to terms with their own sexuality. The couple's experience provided important insights into the confusing and emotional journey young people often face when seeking their true identity. You can't recreate what you and I have. Both couples united in what would be one of the most memorable embraces of same-sex relationships on television. I now pronounce you wife and wife and husband and husband. You may kiss one another. Number 7. First Gay Wedding – Rock Only eight episodes into its run, Rock made history when it aired a wedding for Rock's uncle. The episode introduces Russell, who reveals he is to marry his male lover. The family deals with the news in various ways, ultimately deciding to hold the wedding at their house. Activism for gay marriage was just getting off the ground, and Rock managed to be on the cutting edge of the gay rights movement, despite not featuring any regular gay themes. Also worth noting is the 1996 wedding of Susan and Carol on Friends, which was the first lesbian wedding on television. Number 6. Will & Grace Debuts – Will & Grace Jealous? <laughs> Honey, I don't need your man. I got George Clooney. One could easily make an argument that Will & Grace is the biggest show ever with an LGBTQ plus focus. With an original run of eight seasons and a revival in 2017, the show is a television icon and was even featured in a Smithsonian LGBT history collection. Okay, I get it. You want to hook up with a power gay. The sitcom follows best friends Will Truman, a gay man, and Grace Adler, a straight woman as they navigate their 30s with the help of their kookier friends Karen, who is bisexual, and Jack, who is gay. With three quarters of the main cast identifying as LGBT, it was a useful tool to bring these themes and cultures to the mainstream with its irresistible charm. Number 5. Shining a Light on AIDS – Angels in America HBO adapted Tony Kushner's Pulitzer Prize-winning play into a six-hour miniseries, garnering critical acclaim and a truckload of awards. Starring some high-profile actors like Al Pacino, Emma Thompson, and Meryl Streep, 
the story blends together several storylines of characters dealing with HIV and AIDS and closeted homosexuality in different ways in 1985. The HIV epidemic wasn't necessarily new in 2003, but it was rare to see it represented in the media. What does the Holy Writ say about someone who abandons someone he loves at a time of great need? Angels in America displayed these issues in a creative and artistic way, not only providing an improvement in representation, but also helping HBO establish its ever-expanding brand in the 21st century. Oh. Oh. Number 4. A Gay Household on Primetime, Modern Family Sorry, Daddy needed snacks. Modern Family lived up to its name when it premiered, presenting an extended non-nuclear family which included gay dads Cameron and Mitchell, who adopted their daughter Lily in the pilot. We decided we really want to have a baby, so we had initially asked one of our lesbian friends. The comedy was an instant hit, garnering critical acclaim, awards, and audience adoration. As a couple, Cam and Mitchell face typical suburban parental issues, as well as issues that are particular to gay couples. I'm moving into the attic. The attic? Hey, at least it's big. With genuine writing and sincere performances from Eric Stone Street and Jesse Tyler Ferguson, the show managed to turn the traditional sitcom on its head and redefine what it means to be a television family. How is this place even available? Oh, dreadful story. Runaway bride, suicidal groom. Number three, first transgender character on prime time, Dirty Sexy Money. In 2007, Candace Kane became the first transgender actress to play a recurring transgender character on primetime. She played Carmelita Rayner, with whom Patrick was having an affair throughout the series. Look at you. What's most interesting about the character is that her gender identity was major to her character. It wasn't her defining feature. Rather, Patrick loved her in spite of his family's ideas of her. You can't tell me you love me and then disappear for weeks at a time. You can't do that. Yes. Despite fighting fiercely for her love, her storyline comes to a tragic end near the end of the series. Though neither Carmelita nor the series itself found a happy ending, the show has found its place in history with its historic storyline. My whole point to this is to not only tell trans children that they're okay, but their parents, that this is just something that some human beings are. Number two, first gay character on primetime, all in the family. This uh, kid you come in with, is he straight? Norman Lear's iconic sitcom never strayed away from satirizing controversial topics. Archie Bunker, everyone's favorite bigot, assumes that his daughter's flamboyant friend is gay, using some pretty archaic slurs to refer to him. Roger the fairy? The episode plays on stereotypes, though, by making the flamboyant character straight, by revealing that Archie's masculine bar buddy Steve is actually gay. But he thinks that you're the... I can't even say it, you Steve. He only appeared in a single episode, but it was an early sympathetic portrayal of a gay man who defied common stereotypes about gay men, while also condemning Archie's homophobia and ideas about masculinity. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You totally just got laid, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you see? That gives me hope, because I love knowing that two people who've been together for so long can still make each other that happy. Hello, I'm Taylor. My pronouns are they, theirs, and them. Okay. You have two minutes. Number 1. Ellen Comes Out in Public and Primetime, Ellen Throughout the mid-90s, Ellen DeGeneres faced a huge amount of gay rumors, which she played coy with on her sitcom. Ice. Ice. Yes, I know, I like ice. Heterosexuals like ice. In 1997, she decided to publicly come out as gay on the cover of Time, and to later have the title character Ellen Morgan reveal her sexuality. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just... Susan... I'm gay. The whole ordeal was hugely controversial, and she faced a large amount of opposition, but the comedian came out on top with a huge ratings bump and a primetime Emmy for writing. Though the sitcom only lasted one more season, Ellen's career only took off from there. And this was before Facebook, so if you wanted to announce something, it was the only way you, you, you had to get a sitcom. It just goes to show that despite the dissenters, there is always room for LGBTQ plus people in pop culture. Someone at the studio said, well, get her a puppy. She's not coming out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.